In this video, I'll show you how to construct log frame matrix of any project by using log framer. If you see here, so this is the log frame matrix which has been developed in log framer. So if you carefully look at it here, so we see there are four basic functionalities of log framer. First one is project where we provide uh, all background information about the project including description, including scope, including context and everything. Second one is the log frame where we build log frame matrix. Third one is planning where we create bar chart or CAD chart. Third one is budget where we prepare budgetary estimates of the project. So this video is dedicated to log frame matrix. Where to begin from? We need to begin from settings. If you click on menu bar, file, then you see here we have an option settings. Just click it. So it has two components. So above this part and second one is this one. On the top you see here we have different schemes. So these schemes use different terminology of log frame matrix. As you know that some people use the terms like uh, goals, purpose, outputs and activities while others use impact, outcomes, output and activities. Still, some others use impact, effects, output, activities and the variety of the options you see keep on looking at the, all these options. So there are at least 11 different formats of log frame matrix. So 11 different sets of terminologies which we use in log frame matrix. Whatever scheme you want to use, just click it and just click it. OK, so it will obviously appear here. Second part, here. Here you see there are uh, the terms which we use other than the logic which include indicators, verification source, and assumptions. For example, by default we use indicators. Instead of indicator, if we want to use OVI, so let me write here, and uh, uh, for verification source, we use source of verification. And for resources, you can use some other term for budget. Also, you can use other terms. And for assumptions, if you want to use some other terms, so just click it OK. So let me do it again. Just click it here and OVI and just click it OK. You see here, so thick chain OVI is appearing here instead of indicators. Right? So this is step number one. What we do, we select the scheme and second terminology for uh, rest of three columns. In second step, what we need, if you go down, scroll down, you see, just in front of activities, we have the options like resources, budget, and assumptions. And we, if you want to change them, uh, go to layout, and you see, so this layout is in fact the, what we call it the resource and budget layout. If you want to change it to the process indicator, just click it. So here we go. So you see activities, OVI and source of verification, it has changed. Right? So then, uh, coming to another functionality, uh, that is the text, go to the text here. So we can change the text, text size, text font type, then even font type, font size, if you want to bold any text, make it italic or even underline and change the colors. So there are plenty of options uh, are available here. So almost all type of the option which are available in MS Word or WPS Write, so that all those are available here also. 
And you, you might have seen in MS project, indent and outdent. So the, these two options are also available here. Right? So for example, if we indent anyone, right? so indent means pushing hard, so means it's uh, code will change. And if we outdent it, so it will automatically change to the biggest size. Okay, and uh, if you want to make uh, uh, the upper cases, lower cases, so you can change from this particular functionality. Okay, so then coming to the items here. Here, what we can do if we want to add some other section, so just click it here, add, or if we can insert a row or any cell if you want to insert. So we can use this functionality. Similarly, if you want to change the sequence, for example, we want to bring indicator 3 before indicator 2, just select it and then move it up. So you see it has changed. And if you want to bring it further, so you will see it will move up. And we can break it down also. And if you want to remove this one, let's say 3, just so it has been removed, right? So then uh, coming back to the uh, uh, layout options. So the ones you have developed the log frame matrix, and if you want to select certain parts or certain component of log frame matrix, and you want to review that one, how to do it? For example, if you want to review view only project logic, just click it. So you see only project logic will appear here. And we want to see indicators also. So the indicator will also appear here. And we want to see verification sources also. So you will see verification sources will also appear here. And we want to include assumptions also will appear here. Right? And we want to omit goals, just click goals, you see. So the goals will disappear. And if you want to uh, hide purpose, so the purpose will hide. And if you want to hide outputs, so the outputs will be hidden from here. And if you want to hide activities, activities will also be one hiding. So uh, let, let's bring them back here. Yeah. Right? Another uh, functionality available here is if, say, for example, there are so many extra rows and extra cells. And we, we want to hide them. And how to do it? Just click layout and then go to hide cells. So you see the rows which are not being used, they're empty rows, they're all gone. Hidden. Right? So the so then from this you can create now reports also. Just if you want to create log frame. Click it here, so the log frame matrix will automatically be developed here. So you see it's appearing here in print mode. So it's uh, processing and uh, taking a little time. And uh, if you want to create a list of only indicators, that you can also do it by using the same. Thanks for watching.